Oh, fantastic viewers. Welcome to another exciting, swashbuckling adventure. Dreamer Cards TV. <laughs> oh, fantastic viewers. Can you imagine a world without the motor car? Well, I have two sets of cards. One discussing the evolution of the motor car. Pictured it. And another one showing life before the uh, the automobile became widely used. These cards show bicycles, um, a steam train, a carriage, and that good old form of uh, transport using one's legs. And also a horse, which was the uh, most common uh, form of transport bar you know using your legs of course in the 19th century actually the motor car had, had already been invented by the time this particular set was issued and this set was issued way back in 1904 over a hundred years old the very fact that the motor car is not featured in this set perhaps signifies how important uh, the role of the uh, horse was in the early 20th century to ordinary people. It's interesting to note that the car, the uh, petrol car, that is the gasoline car, was seen as a clean alternative to the horse. Now, that might kind of seem a bit strange but remember horse excrement and urine was a huge problem on the roads in, in the 19th century now the great thing about cars like these the big uh, sets here and also uh, cigarette cats like these ones which I've uh, shown in uh, one of my previous videos yeah, the great thing about these is they provide a window to the past, illustrating um, that time when uh, the car went from being a rich man's novelty to an everyday necessity. Now, this second uh, set of uh, Liebig cards, shown here, is devoted to the history of the motor car and was issued way back in 1907 also over a hundred years old may I add the first card shows a very interesting looking windmill automobile that looks like it was invented by the great Leonardo da Vinci himself however on the back which is coincidentally in Italian it states that this interesting early car design was found on 15th century documents from Memmingen in Germany. The uh, second car shows a sail powered machine that was designed by the Dutch mathematician uh, Simon Stivan. I think that's how you pronounce it, in the 1600s. It states on the back, also in Italian, um, that this form mode of transport was impractical because of the terrible state of the roads in those days. In a time when the rich and affluent had many servants, Someone conceived the idea of pedal power. A drawing from the uh, from 1690 shows a French doctor visiting his patients with such a contraption. An artist's impression of uh, that original drawing is found on card number three. Now uh, here we have an early steam-powered vehicle. It states on the back that the first self-propelled car was invented by the French engineer Nicolas Joseph Cugnot 
I think that's how you pronounce it. it way back in 1769. And card number five shows an illustration of the first gasoline-powered car from 1875, conceived by Siegfried Marcus. Unfortunately, he never applied for a patent for his motor car design, but he was the first to use gasoline for propelling a vehicle. Because of Marcus's Jewish ancestry, his name and all memorabilia vanished under the Nazis. Of course, this isn't mentioned on the back of the card, this particular card, because it was issued well before the Nazi party was founded. This shows how history can effectively be rewritten by those who control the media and information. It is the uh, German engineer Karl Benz who is usually credited with the invention of the gasoline car since he was the first to patent his work in 1879. Now the next card features an electric bus. Um, the fact that this is the last card in the series probably reveals what the author of this set thought would be the successor to the gasoline car. As we all know, this never happened, although that could change in the future with increasing concerns over greenhouse gas emissions. So, these two uh, Liebig sets are fantastic, beautifully illustrated. Please don't forget to uh, check out my other videos of the history of motor cars and transport and I've done a whole host of uh, videos on other quirky and interesting collectibles. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to find out more about this particular item or other such items please feel free to pop by my website at creamofcards.com Oh no! I'm afraid we've run out of time but just before you go Please leave comments up below, and if you'd like to see more amazing video clips like this, subscribe to the track by clicking on the icon up in the sky. A Creamer Cards TV.